Inside this box is the Culus Cobra bag. So the one that I bought is the KS3 freestanding version. And I've put a link in the description down below if you want to check it out. The multi-base carbon fiber, it comes with screws and it also comes with a clamp. So here I got the uh, platform paddles with the screws, click mast two clip bars. It's made of aluminum. And uh, looking at this, I have to say it looks pretty strong to me. I don't, I don't think this is going to break. Uh, KS3 spring, so that's the latest version that they sell. Pretty impressive. Inside this uh, bag here is the inflatable uh, leather uh, Cobra bag. Ball adapter, carbon fiber. The sandbags. Okay, now let's go over the installation and the setup process. So what we need for this is a screwdriver, Phillips, and we need a ratchet. Socket is a half socket. First step is the platform. I'm gonna use the multi-base. I'm going to attach the paddles to it. The paddles are going to be attached to the multi-base here. Install the bolt right in the center here. All you need to do is to push it inside, right? Earlier I said you need to use this, but then I realized that if I want to screw the nut to the bolt, it's not long enough. So I went to my toolbox, I grabbed an extension like this, Okay guys, if you don't have an extension, instead of installing all the four paddles, only install two paddles to be able to work with your fingers and be able to attach the nut onto the bolt. All right, so far I got my platform set up. It's not flat with the ground. So I'm only assuming that when I add the sandbags to this, it will be firm. So now it's time to install the clamp, the mast, one clip bar, spring, and the other clip bar. <sighs> Those little pins are inside the hole. This is not hole. Now I'm gonna insert the Cobra bag adapter. The leather bag ball will go right on top of this here. So I'm gonna open up this part here so it's easier. I need to make sure that the bladder uh, that is right here goes right in the center. Once I'm done with lacing this, bring the laces to the back and I kind of go around it. I'm gonna make a nice knot here. I don't wanna punch on that, so I'm gonna kind of like put this inside right here. I'm gonna use a spoon here. I'm gonna use that, that part of the spoon and I'm gonna push the laces inside. I'm gonna use a handheld pump to inflate the bag. I'm gonna give you a piece of advice. Don't use an air compressor, okay? I've made the mistake in the past and I've used an air compressor. I wasn't paying attention for maybe one or two seconds and it ripped the bag open. There was way too much air in there. And trust me, this is good quality material that we've got here. So the handheld pump is the perfect way to inflate your bag.
A little piece of advice that I got from the creator of the Cobra bag. The bag needs to be quite firm, but it should not be bursting at the seams. And there should be a little when you squeeze it with the fingers. Time to fill up those sandbags. I've opted for one quarter inch of gravel uh, instead of sand. The capacity for those sandbags is 20 kilograms each. So that's like 45 pounds, 45 pounds. So here's what I like about the bags. You've got those straps here, you've got the Velcros. So you can always adjust them. I can actually grab it with one hand or I can make them a little longer so I can lift those up with my two hands. Bags are installed. I can use the straps and kind of like put them around the mast to make it more solid, more rigid. That looks pretty solid to me. Obviously, if I want this to be even more solid, more rigidity to it, I can always add, let's say, dumbbells or plates on to that. At full height, this is about five feet, seven inches. All the way down, that's four feet, eight inches. Completely modulable system. If you wanted your kids to use it, because this would be too tall, you can always remove the mask and have this portion here installed all the way at the bottom so your kids can actually play with it. When the top portion here is at the highest level, this will be a bit slower. So that would be awesome for beginners. And if you bring this all the way down, it will be much faster. that you might need to readjust this section here, this portion here, so you have it at the proper height. Because when you get into your boxing stance, your eye level is, is in line with the bag. You can always make adjustments and find what best suits you. I'm gonna quickly compare the Culus Cobra bag with a more traditional reflex bag. The main difference is that here, the Culus has the spring in the middle. And this one has the spring located at the bottom. And you can see here how fast this one goes compared to that one. Even if I bring it all the way down or really, really far down, it is not the same speed. Not at all. So obviously this one will not practice your reflexes as much as a Cobra bag. But if I had to pick and choose the one that I would rather train with, I would definitely go with the Culus Cobra bag. It's much faster, works on my reflexes a lot more than the other one. Enough talking, it's time to put it to the test.
Wow, I love the Cubist Cobra bag. I do highly recommend the Cubist Cobra bag. Check the description down below. You'll have a link if you wanna buy one of those. I've been sweating. I've only done just a few minutes. Imagine if I was to do a full workout. It's great for coordination, timing. It's great to work on reflexes. It's also awesome for cardiovascular and endurance. I will definitely make boxing workout videos using the Culus Cobra bag. And if you thought that this video was helpful, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. So I'll see you guys in the next video.